Um, okay, my name is Hanfuang and um, I'm 15 years old. I'm study at I'm studying at grade eight, and some of my hobbies are cooking, um, drawing, and playing with my pen. Okay, fantastic. That sounds quite nice. Um, I'm going to start off with asking you about studies, okay? So we're going to talk about where you study and what you study. So, who do you spend the most time with when you study and why? I usually study alone because it's more comfortable. When I study with my mom, she usually um, like talk too much and not like give me space, she always talk that uh, you, you do this not right, you have to do this this way and I was not comfortable about this even though I know it is good for me but I wanted to do myself so if I if it is wrong I can know what to what to like study more and cool fantastic so um, is it important to like people you study with? I think it is important because uh, when you like people you study with, um, it, they will have good look for you and you can like take some of their advice so you could be better and better and you could also make more friends. Fantastic. I do agree. Are there times when you... What kinds of things would you study if you studied with other people? Um, I think it's English because sometimes other people can know more vocabulary and grammar and I, I cannot really understand English when alone so, um, not I don't really like using the dictionary. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my parents' advice. Okay. And when you have difficulty studying alone, what do you do if you have problems or things you don't understand? Um. First, I would ask my friends if they know, and. If they don't know, I will ask my parents. Okay, fantastic. And then the last thing, do you think it's important for people to study on their own? I think no, even though I'm studying on my own. But studying with other people, as I said earlier, it helps us to improve many things, even on our attitude, not even with our study things. Right, fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move to part two. And for part two, you will have one minute to prepare what you want to say. Okay, so I'll read it to you and then I'll give you some paper and you can use the pen to kind of mind map what you might like to plan. Okay, so I want you to describe a tourist attraction you enjoyed visiting. You should say what this tourist attraction is, when and why you visited it, what you did there, and explain why you enjoyed visiting this tourist attraction. Okay, so there you go. This is your task here. You can read it, and when you finish reading it, you can have one minute to prepare what you are going to say.
you ready? Okay. Okay, so don't worry if I interrupt you. It's just so that we can continue. Okay? Alright? <coughs> you may begin. Um, so one of the tourist attractions that I love is the night market. And I usually visit the night market on holiday with my with my parents or my friends because going on the weekdays like we have much work to do and there's no time. Um, I visit it because it has many different foods and some of it like we can feel the air is noisy but it's it's very friendly the the people who buy who sell the foods really friendly and sometimes at the night market can have other things like clothes and toys even though it's not much but you can also try it and even buy it. <coughs> um, when I when I go to the night market, I I usually try as many food as I can because like we cannot visit the night market many times, so I want to take the chance. And even though some of the foods are not my cup of tea, but we should try it and I can also take some photos so it would be a great memory when I stay at home, I still can look at it and feel hungry. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some follow up questions with the night market. Do you remember the first time you went to the night market? Mm, actually, the first time I went to the night market is like last year, I think, like February last year. Okay, and who did you go with? I go with my parents. And since then, how many times have you gone? Mm, I really don't know. I cannot remember well. That's okay. What I like to ask is have you ever bought anything special at the night market mm -hmm. which you still have today? Oh, when you ask this question, I remember about a bracelet that I brought with my mom. It's gonna have a like a round circle and with a lucky leaf inside. I still keep it today because on time make me feel special um, and it, I think it will keep me lucky. Okay, interesting. I need to get something lucky too. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just have a short discussion about uh, different kinds of tourist attractions. So um, living in Hanoi, there are many things for a tourist to see. What do you think the most popular are? I think it's where, like, I don't know how to say this in English, but it's like a lake where a tower was in the middle. I think it's a turtle one. Turtle. Yes. Exactly. Why is that mm. an important place? Mm. Why do you think that? Because it connects with uh, the history of the Vietnamese, so I think when tourists visit Vietnamese, they should understand the some of the cultures that connect to the history. Okay, interesting. And are there many things? Can you tell me what a tourist could do while being around Quang Chi? Mm -hmm. They. Around Hong Kong is like a path that people could walk when on the weekend they should go there. Uh, Sometimes it has like random dance or food around it. It also have a night market there and when it's when it's dark 
um, it will have many lights around the lake, so when you go there, you could take many amazing pictures. Okay, fantastic. I want to have a follow-up question. So, how do types, how do different types of tourist attractions, sorry, how do the types of tourist attractions that younger people like to visit compare with those that older people like? I think younger people like where it's noisy and where it's like more suitable for the Gen Z, like the bar, or sometimes the, the party, they want to go to party, or but the old people, they just want to relax and they could stay at home or go walking around the lake or on the playground. And do you agree that some tourist attractions like museums and art galleries, do you agree or disagree that they should be free to visit? I think I agree with it because even though we don't have money, we should visit it one time because it's like the traditional of our country and if we cannot visit it, I think we cannot be like un more understand about our history. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's talk about the importance of international tourism. So, why is tourism important for a country? Tourism is important because it makes like money. And they can also like get to know other country with about their culture, their foods, and their tradition. Okay. And what are the benefits to individuals of visiting another country as a tourist? Um, you can get to know lots of things. Um, like. We can enjoy the air, even though it's not much, but sometimes it can be exciting because we stay in a different place, but not our hometown. Okay, alright, thank you. I think that is the end of your speaking test. Well done.